Hey everybody, Big Yankovic here, podcaster, author, and carnivore, and this is day 65 of the Beef Butter Bacon and Eggs Challenge that we're doing here on Big Yankovic on Health. All right, I hope you guys don't mind. I'm leaving the engine on so that the AC can run while I do this. It's 97 degrees outside, and the last few times I've done these uh, with my my car off, I am sweating like a dog by the time I'm finished. So I'm gonna let it go. I hopefully hopefully the engine's not too noisy, and the AC's not too annoying. But um, we're gonna go ahead. We'll jump straight in. I won't even tell you to go check out the Facebook group. Uh, you can do that if you want, but I won't even tell you about it. We're just going to jump straight into the videos. It's day 65, and that is Friday. It's about time for the weekend. I did my usual walk this morning, and that was a good start of the, to the day. All right, we're in here walking again. And uh, I don't know how many days in a row. I want to say five or six or something like that. I haven't been keeping track, but still going. Uh, and the cool thing was yesterday... I used my text-to-speech and I wrote 500 words on my book while I was walking. How about that? That's some good useful uh, time use, huh? Well, I suppose you probably can't hear me over that freaking leaf blower, so I'll let you go. And yeah, today was a pretty simple day. Uh, I got up and I made this tri-tip steak. Uh, I followed a recipe, tried to make it pretty good, but I overcooked it. <laughs> which I was pretty irritated with. Uh, I guesstimated at the time that it was supposed to stay in the oven and uh, that was probably five minutes too long. And so if you look at the picture, it's pretty brown, not very pink in the middle. And I was kind of annoyed by that. It was okay, but it was pretty chewy. <laughs> um, so I ate that, that was a pound and a half of tri-tip. I ate all of that. And then uh, I had cooked some uh, hamburgers uh, with ground beef and I had two of those also to go along with my tri-tip steak. And that was my big meal. And then later on today when I was at work, I had, it was just about six o'clock and I had a, a bowl of ground beef um, to uh, finish off my eating for the day. And it was pretty good and satisfying, and I didn't have any trouble after that. So, you know, I made sure to get plenty of fat and uh, feeling good from that. So, I think my uh, my days of being tempted and cheating are behind me again. I don't have to worry about the cheese anymore. I can just look at it and go, huh, that's nice. Hey, it's day 65 of the beef, butter, bacon, and egg challenge. And... Uh, I think I'm on a slippery slope, everybody. I think I need help. Uh, not, it sounds more desperate than it is, but, uh, you know, I said I was going to try not to eat a lunch today, to not crave hamburger or something like that, and to try to go through the day and wait till I get home to eat. Uh, there was a wrinkle in that plan in that, uh, uh, the crew I work with, uh, they're going to be going to, uh, work four tens next, starting next week. And I've been trying to get that for them for a while and, uh, it's going to happen next week. And so they were excited about that. One of the guys in particular was really excited, wanted to go out to lunch today as a team. And he said, I'll pay, let's, let's go. And, uh, he really wanted to go to uh, Thai food, which I love Thai food. But it is not um, strong in the carnivore uh, field. And it's not especially just beef, butter, bacon, and egg. I mean, there's lots of shrimp things you could eat. There's lots of chicken things you can have. There's lots of uh, even pork stuff. And you can get beef. Um, but I, I said, well, where, which, which restaurant do you want to go? Because I had to look at the menu. So uh, I did look up the menu. They had what they call a hot plate, uh, no, a meat lover's hot plate, which I thought, okay, that sounds pretty good. And it was where they would combine their beef and pork and chicken all on it, like a bed of cabbage or whatever with some oyster sauce and garlic. And I thought, well, if I make have them make that all beef, 
you know, get rid of the pork, get rid of the chicken, and just then then that should be okay. And that's what I did. I had the uh, meat lovers hot plate at the Thai restaurant, you know, but there's curry and rice and there's, which is good, tasting, and, you know, pad thai, drunken noodle, uh, I don't know, all that stuff, all that good Thai food that, uh, but man, it, it is, I, as soon as I heard he wanted to go to Thai food, I'm like, gee, maybe I should, maybe I need to bow out of this, but I really felt like I needed to go to this event. It was a team building kind of thing and a good thing for our, our work crew. And so I wanted to be there. And so I'm glad I was able to find something, but you know, I talk about that slippery slope. Now I'm eating in the middle of the day and I'm having a sauce on it. Now it wasn't a sugary sauce. It was just like an oyster sauce, but had garlic in it, which, you know, if I'm honestly doing beef, butter, bacon, and egg, I should not have eaten that today. Um, but I thought it was good enough of a, I, I, I did enough vigilance to get myself within the, as much of the range of BBBE as I possibly could. And so that's what I did, but uh, yeah, I just feel like, oh, so now if I can rationalize that, well, maybe tomorrow I'll rationalize uh, barbecue sauce on some uh, pulled pork or something. I don't have any, but you know, what else am I gonna rationalize? You know, I started eating extra burgers because uh, I was hungry, so I gave in to that, and then I did it two days in a row, and now I'm adding uh, sauces into it, but uh, anyway, I I don't feel too bad about it, but I like I said, I don't want to, I, I feel like I may be on a slippery slope and could easily start to slip down. So uh, yeah, I'm going to be pretty vigilant over the weekend, staying pretty straight, beef, butter, bacon, egg. I did eat tonight. I had uh, a pound of bacon and uh, six eggs scrambled my uh, standby meal, and uh, it was good. I enjoyed it all and I feel satisfied and everything. So yeah, I think I'm doing fine. You know, I just, I just can't keep giving in. I, I have to, to be disciplined and vigilant in, in what I'm doing and I can do that. I definitely can. Uh, it's, it's all part of the process, learning, adapting to situations. You know, I don't, I don't want to, I, I think being social, uh, especially in a work environment, is important. Is it important enough to go out drinking? No. Is, is it important that I have to go to the pizza and ice cream thing? No. Uh, but it was important that I went to the public works picnic. It was important that I went to this team lunch today. And uh, yeah, I, I could have just gone and not eaten anything too. But I think I found a good solution. And, uh, you know... You have to take every day as it comes, every situation. So that's what I'm doing. I'm I'm going to keep going and uh, adapting and doing what I can to stay healthy, stay carnivore, stay on track. And uh, you should do that too. All right. So there you go. It's interesting, I think, how much of a pain in the butt uh, all these various work uh dinners and lunches and parties and so forth have been for us during this whole time. You know, I think uh, had we done a 30-day um, beef, butter, bacon, and eggs thing, we probably could have just avoided that kind of a thing. But in 90 days, it's just too hard. There's too many of those kind of things for you to never have an issue with one of them. And... Um, yeah, it feels like for the last while we keep having one, you know, day after day there's something. And Marshall's having them and I'm having them and you just got to find a way to deal with it. Sometimes they work out. Sometimes you get a whole lot of brisket for free. Other times, uh, it can be a pain. It can be like Marshall today where he had just a, a he had to figure out how to turn Thai food into something that uh, he could eat on this crazy, very restrictive diet. He would have been fine if he was just eating regular carnivore, but you know, we've upped the restrictions and made it just beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. That's, that's pretty intense. That's a pretty difficult thing to stick to. And um, I think he did a good job. You know, it wasn't too bad. 
he, he managed to find a way and maybe he's like getting a little too much sauce i don't know maybe he's on a slippery slope uh i would suggest this weekend just clamp down marshall do uh do go hardcore as you can just eat only beef butter bacon and eggs nothing else eat lots of butter make yourself very full so that you're not tempted by anything more um i don't know that's what i did <laughs> when i screwed up so uh it seems like that's the best way to go as long as you're nice and full you're not as tempted it's not as big of a deal so i think that's the uh that is the key and the best thing about eating a carnivore diet it's not a diet you know the, the word diet in there doesn't really quite fit you know lots of people call it a woe a way of eating uh, it's the carnivore woe not the carnivore diet and because it spells out woe that's weird so people don't really use that a lot but uh but it's true it's it's a way of eating it's not a diet you can eat tons there's no need to count calories you just eat until you are full and that's what they want you to do they don't want you to eat less they want you to eat until you're full and then wait till you're hungry and then eat until you're full and then wait till you're hungry and eat it's you know it's amazing it's amazing they just want you to just do what your body tells you to do because it knows it knows when it's hungry and it knows when it's full and you just listen to that and you'll be healthy it's amazing you know just give yourself food proper human diet not drugs <laughs> as robert sivas likes to call them uh carbohydrates are drugs don't take the drugs just eat the food your body has a system set up to tell it when it's had enough food has no idea when it's had enough drugs so skip the carbs eat the food which is animal products and your body will be healthy and happy um, for someone like me who's uh, been bad for a long time for a large portion of my life it's gonna take a while before I can get myself all the way to that completely healthy and happy state We've been going for six months, so that's a good start. Uh, I don't know how long it'll take in the end, and it doesn't really matter. I will get there. Unless I get run over by a bus or something, I will get there. And so, uh, you know, I look forward to when that happens. And I'm just gonna keep eating right and taking care of myself and avoiding the health pitfalls that are out there. And uh, that's what it's all about, carnivore diet. Eat the food, eat till you're full, then wait till you're hungry. Super simple, couldn't be sim more simple. You don't need anything. You don't need any any of the con continuous glucose monitors. You don't need any of that crap. Just eat until you're full and then stop. <clears throat> All you need is the monitor of your stomach saying, yeah, you're done, that's it. And it's automatic. It's as easy as breathing. That's what I love about carnivore. All right, folks. We'll see you guys next time on Big Anklevich on Health.